What's up guys, and so Nick here, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Earthbound. In the last episode, we beat the Ace Sanctuary boss, and then we magically transport ourselves to Magic Camp. And now, I think we're still in Magic Camp, but Magic Camp's basically Ness's mind. This is his center of his mind, where all the evilness is coming to. It's basically like a model of the mana and mana statue from inside anyway let's talk to him on the evil part of your brain can't beat me because you are the only you are the one who forced me into being okay so here we have Ness's nightmare now before we do this I'm just gonna create a restore point because he actually is a very hard boss so just in case let's go ahead um I'm gonna go right into it. Use my bag of Dragonite. Makes me into a fire breathing dragon. Does 656 damage. Alright, he has a shield now. I don't have anything to take off his shield. Why do I have a gold bracelet anyway? Uh let's see. Magic pudding. Can't really use anything else. Let's try flash. Let's go with, yeah, Flash Omega. See if that does anything. Alright, he can't stop crying, that's good. Okay, he knows PSI Gaming. And I think I said that before we were fighting him. And let's see, what, can, what else can I do? I can put up a shield myself. Heal. Yeah, let's put up a shield. I don't think that's gonna help. Maybe it will. Power shield. I mean, do I have a PSI shield? Or is there no PSI shield in this game? Alright, uh, let's use gaming ourselves, I guess. Let's go with gaming gamma. Alright, that doesn't affect the shield, so I guess bashing will affect the shield. Yeah, so the power shield's only for physical attacks, not for uh whatever these attacks are called psi attacks all right so let's go with gaming gamma again does 239 damage it's gonna go with gaming alpha we go back with gaming gamma this is the last time i can do it oh shoot he knows life up also so that can be bad uh shit now i have um all right let's go with Magic pudding. Oh shoot! PSI Gaming Omega. All right, well that basically killed me. Uh, PSI Recover. Oh shoot! Have to go fast. All right, so we're still alive because of our in um, Earthbound. It's nice enough to have like this spinning wheel of HP where you can still survive all right so he's still alive hopefully I can get that shield down no I can't all right, let's try it again it's gonna bash now all right shields still up though I don't know if you can destroy shields in this game actually because I know in um in mother 3 you can destroy shields by hitting it enough times and well, it doesn't really matter because he's dead. Alright, so that wasn't as bad. Alright, leveled up to level 74. And... Ness heard a familiar voice. The center of the Sea of Eden. Gygus' goal is to sh destroy you. Listen carefully. Everything in the universe could be destroyed at the hands of Gygus. But he and his followers are also in trouble. The Apple of Enlightenment has foretold that Gygus's attempt will fail. It is because of the existence of a boy named Ness. That's me. Listen. Free your mind and know you must what you must do. You your destiny has already been decided. You, I, where should we go? You know deep within the reaches of your mind. S -s -s Saturn Saturn Valley, yes, 
go to Saturn, go to the valley where the Mr. Saturn live. You'll get something new there. Soon Magic Ant will be no more. We must be quick. Nesta really heard his own voice. Go to Saturn Valley. Go to Saturn Valley now. And here we have a cutscene. I think. Yep. Ness was filled with the power of the giant step. Ness speed increased by five. Ness for fatality increased by five. Ness was was filled with the power of the Lily put steps. Ness's guts increased by five. Ness's luck increased by five. Ness was powered with the power of the Milky Well. Ness's speed increased by five. Ness's IQ raised by five. Ness was filled with the power of the Magic Hill or Magnet Hill. Ness's vitality went up by five. Ness's luck increased by five. Ness was filled with the power of the Rainy Circle. Ness's guts increased by five. Ness's IQ increased by five. Ness was filled with the power of the Pink Cloud. Ness's speed increased by five. Ness's guts increased by five. Ness was filled with the power of the Lumen Hole. Ness's luck increased by five. Ness's IQ went up by five. Ness was filled with the power of the Fire Spring. Ness's speed increased by five. Ness's luck increased by five. Instantly, Ness's mind cleared, and he realized that he had possessed great power. At the moment, Ness's physical powers radically expanded. Ness gained 200,000 experience. Ness is now level 75. Alright, you get the point. And wow, did we just get an increase of PP by 346 or something like that? Anyway, we realized the power of PSI Gaming, Omega, and finally, he realized he had the power of Teleport Beta. And like, Ness wasn't overpowered enough from his other teammates he's now even more overpowered anyway Nade, Ness made all of the hidden powers his own Ness absorbed the power of the land into his heart and magic can't was no more so basically Ness is restored and has no more evil in his mind that's why we gained so much experience and stats increase anyway now you can wake up your friends are waiting for you. It is time to get up. And there's our eight sanctuary locations. And just spinning around. And slowly going back. Alright. So. Where are we going now? <laughs> Alright, now we're back here. Soundstone that Ness used to have is gone is now gone. What happened, Ness? You've been unconscious for a long time. You kept saying something. Saturn Valley? What's waiting for us there? Anyway, we need to teleport. Alright, so now we're back with our team. Oh, okay, we're already teleporting. Even though that's not even possible because the volcano is in the way, but apparently we can go through that now. Alright, uh, so looks like we have this new machine. Let's talk to Dr. Antonis here. Yeah, the Mr. Saturns are incredible folks. And the Apple Kid, he is most ex exceptional young man. Very different from the other kids. Well, anyway, the prototype phase disorder has been stolen. Someone resembling a pig wearing clothes took Mr. Saturn captive and stole the device. So we have to save him? Excellent, excellent. Everything proceeded as planned. Dr. Antona, it's Mr. Saturn, and I worked together. Finally completed the phase disorder. The purpose of this device is to enable instantaneous travel through space and time. In this prototype, you can only travel to different points within the same time period. It is able, however, to search out the locations of enemies. Right now, it is indicating the presence of enemies in the 
Lost Underworld. Alright, um, let's first save before we go here. Because I know we're going to have a tough time, probably. Alright, so, got a lot of money. And there we go. And I think we're all at full health, right? Yeah. Oh, except for Ness. Alright, let's go to a hotel. Wherever that is. I think it's this one, right? Is this it? Oh no, this is the hospital. Alright, let's just go to... Hotel, whichever that one is. I forget which one it is. Is it gone? Is it like... Is the phase disorder like taking its place? I mean, I guess if we really want to, we could go to the hot spring over there, but I'm not going to. Let's just go inside. Wait, can we? I'm not sure what will happen, but I sense big time trouble ahead of you. I'm going to stay here for a while and help Mr. Saturn. It's important for a man to enjoy doing his duty. Alright, what do you have to say? Zoom. Zoom. Alright, uh... Wait, what did Dr. Anton say? Well, anyway, the prototype phase disorder has been stolen. It's right there. It's right behind us. Someone resembling a pig wearing clothes took Mr. Saturn captive and stole the device. Well, I don't know where to go. <laughs> Oh wait, what's this? Well, let's see here. Broken spray can. All right. Um, I don't know why it didn't open. Cause like the other two were open, but then that one wasn't. That's kind of weird. All right, what do you have to say? Okay. Uh, um, oh, that just leaves me out there. I really don't know where to go. Come here to wait three minutes, no. Secret herb. Horn of light. I'm really confused on where to go. I might actually teleport to... Uh, what's it called? Foresight just to go to the hint guy. Alright, so, oh wait, though, this is the, this is actually the shop, so, I'm not gonna go in there. I'm really confused on where to go now. Like, the phase, the phase distort is right there. But for some reason, we can't use it. Do we, like, enter through it? I'm really confused. There is a problem here, okay? I don't know where to go. Alright, uh, let's just teleport, I guess. Alright, please don't hit that, please. Alright, nice. Alright, where's the... Wait, I don't have the town map anymore. I forgot I threw that out. For Nessa's inventory. Uh let's see, do we have the town map? Did I give it to someone else? Pencil eraser. No, I think I got rid of it. Bicycle, racer, racer. Yeah, I think I got rid of the town map. Yeah, alright, uh... So where's the hint guy again? I wish there was a faster way. Oh, I think he's down here, right? No, this is where he came from. Okay, I think he's inside here. Yeah, there he is. Could have went to Summers also. 
maybe where you should visit is Siren Valley. Okay, thanks for the help, hint. Alright, let's go back to Siren Valley. I don't know what I'm missing though. Like, I talked to Dr. Anto and he said someone stole a prototype with a pig wearing clothes. I don't know where to go. <laughs> Zoom. That's all he's saying. I don't get it. Incredible folk and Apple Kid, he is most expressional. Whatever. I don't get what to do. Oh! What, why didn't do that before? What? I just went up. What? Hmm, it doesn't work. One thing is missing. But that one material can not normally be found on the earth. The material I'm thinking of came from a meteorite. That fell, that fell when I was much younger. Have you seen a meteorite anywhere recently? Yes. Alright, so I'm guessing the meteorite from uh from on it that we first went to the game I'm guessing we have to go there now so now we have to teleport again and actually go to on it this time all right so starting like the minute okay on it really changed here Oh, I can't even go in the hotel. Shit. Damn, okay. Gygus is taking over slowly. I'm guessing that he's taking over town by town. And I'm guessing that we're gonna fight against some powerful enemies here. Which might be bad. Um, I'm actually expecting a boss, but maybe not. Alright, so let's see who we have here. Got evil eye, okay. Um let's see, I mean I could use flash, I'll actually use that. Paula use freeze beta Jeff you shoot and Pooh use freeze. Alright, he's solidified, that's good. So since he's solidified, I don't think that he's able to cry also. Alright, so these guys actually aren't that hard. Alright, but there's a lot of them. We I mean, might get back attacked. Alright, who do we have here? We have Evil Eye again and Mechanical Octobot. So, knowing the mechanical, um, mechanical guys, they probably explode. And so I'm gonna attack them last and really really Ness Paula and Jeff all missed. I think that's like a first. Three out of the four people missed. I'm gonna use life up bomb poo because he just took damage. And Jeff's diamond eyes, so that could be bad. Alright, Evil Eye's dead. Alright, I'm gonna bash, bash. Actually, no. Freeze beta. And life up beta on Paula. So I guess for Jeff, I just have to heal him. And then for... Everyone else is basically good. Alright, just die already. Thank you. Alright, he doesn't explode though. So that's good. Ness leveled up to level 76. That's good. Alright, uh, so PSI healing. I think Gamma, because it looks like a pretty devastating thing. Alright, uh... 
Let's actually go into our house. I think we'll be healed. I was just bash this guy. Alright, good. Everyone hit this time. That's good. Alright. Yeah, let's see. Let's actually see how much HP and PP Nest really has now because all those stat increases. Oh shoot, alright. Everything's dark. How's it going, King? At this point, you guys just might be the strongest force in the world. Don't you think? I would even say, Mom. Oh, Ness, you finally showed up. There are plenty of creepy monsters running around on it now. Townspeople are barricading their homes, afraid to go out. I'm fine, but not, I am a bit scared. Everything will be okay if we just sit here quietly in the dark. Are you hungry? Do you want to eat some cake? Yep. Alright, so let's eat some cake. Fully heal ourselves. Wow, 780 HP. 542 PP. Wow, Ness is overpowered. <laughs> no wonder he's so good in Smash Bros. I mean, for Smash Bros. 4, he was... He is pretty powerful, but... In, um... Smash Bros. the original in Smash Bros. Melee and in Brawl he was not that good actually alright so we won that these guys are pretty easy especially the evil eye evil eye is pretty easy anyway that's Porky's home I don't know why I'm going this way it's been a while you know first episode we went through here and now we're almost at the end, and we're back here. Alright, let's just kill the evil eye. Okay. Probably gonna die now. Alright, he's dead. Really, Jeff, you have to miss. Alright, did he just... Wait, did he just steal our bottle of GX water? Or did he have his own? Alright, whatever, uh, just freeze, shoot, and freeze. Really? Hit him already, I mean, seriously. Like, Ness, I don't have the Casey's bat anymore. I'm pretty sure you can hit him. Alright, he's still not dead yet. Really, he's still not dead. Alright, there we go. I'm surprised no one else has leveled up yet. Alright, we got another two guys. You know what, I'm actually gonna use... Let's see, how much PP does... PSI Gaming Omega 98 PP. Why 98, not like... 100... Alright, whatever. Um, I'm actually gonna use that. Let's use PSI Freeze on the other guy. Shoot the other guy. PSI Freeze on Evil Eye. Alright, so this could probably kill both of them. If not, it definitely kills the Evil Eye. Okay, never mind. Thought it would kill the Evil Eye, but didn't. Uh, really? Ah, uh, Pooh hit himself. Alright, well at least he's not feeling unusual again. Alright, so the evil eye is dead now, and he's also dead, okay. I'm gonna heal Ness from being strange. Anyway, Pooh and Paul leveled up. That's good. Wow, maximum HP on by 15. That's a good level up. Alright, uh... Okay, wait, never mind. He's not feeling strange anymore. Why are there so many enemies? Seriously. I might actually use Omega now. Wait, who's this guy? Ghost of Starman. So I guess that first Starman that we defeated back in the first episode... 
back to haunt us at, I'm guessing. Alright, let me kill the mechanical, whatever his name is. Show PSI Gaming Omega. Alright, he's dead. And wow, really? Evil Eye and the other guy are not dead yet? Really? Are you kidding me? That guy was still alive after Pooh and Paula hit him and he got hit with the um got hit with the PSI Gaming Omega. Alright, anyway, Jeff is diamondized once again. Let me go fix that up. Alright, he's back to normal. Alright, good. We didn't get a back attack that time, at least. Got this guy again. I hate this guy. Probably the worst out of all the enemies here. Alright, just PSI freeze beta. Attack. PSI freeze beta. And... Alright, his body is solidified. That's good. I'm just gonna bash him now. And he should be dead now. Alright, he is. I probably could have left Jeff diamondized anyway because he didn't even hit the guy once. Or no, I think he hit him. No, he didn't even hit him. Alright, anyway, we're almost there. Alright, those guys are trapped by the tree, so that's good. There's a magical butterfly. I'll get that. If I can go in between these trees. All right, nice, got him. I mean, the magical butterflies are not as useful as they used to be. They only heal 20 PP, but that can still be the meaning between life and death. All right, so here we're back at the meteorite. Something shiny, you can reach it. Do you want to grab it? Yes. Alright, so we got the meteorite piece. I want to teleport. Can I actually teleport down there? No, there's bushes blocking. Okay, uh. Let's try to teleport here. Let's see if it works. Alright, do we have enough room? Alright, yes, we do. Nice. Okay, so now we're back here. Let me go save once again. Actually, let's first go uh, sleep. All right, Jeff broke the broken harmonica and got the baddest beam. All right, so is that more powerful than his other beam? Let's see, equipped. No, not you, Paula. Okay, wow, it is. Um, by, let me do the math here. By, let's see. 18 points. That's actually really good. Uh, anyway, let's get, let's get rid of some items here. Let's see, what do I have? Let's see, d does the gold... I, I doubt it that the gold bracelets... Yeah. Alright, so let's get rid of the gold bracelet. Where is that anyway? Oh, there it is. Let's drop that. Broken spray can. Let's give that to... Jeff. Let's see. Uh, broken trumpet. We can also give that to Jeff. see anything else exercise spray hieroglyphics monkeys love protractor bad key machine most of these things we can't get rid of though which is kind of bad brain food lunch nope most of these are good or we can't get rid of them all right so we're all healed up let's go save right here
and then I guess we'll go into the wait what was that thing called phase disorder we'll go into the phase disorder and then probably just end up the video all right so let's give him the meteorite piece oh uh, yes this is fantastic what well I've never actually seen this incredibly rare element for it's very intriguing all right leave everything to us and you get some rest just getting most fascinating all right so can we go in now oh do we have to like go to sleep again I bet you we do but I mean I guess that is good cuz maybe Jeff will fix another item working through okay he didn't fix we got another defense spray that's good cuz I think defense spray either lowers the defense of enemies but I'm pretty sure it doesn't and it increases all of our defense alright so the phase disorder is good it's equipped with two new features first it can it can repair your biological functions second it can save your progress don't be afraid get right in there is just one thing though you might not be able to return so make sure you are optimally optified are you ready to go? Yes. Even if you're not 100% perfectly completely ready, well, you should be as repaired as possible. It would be for the best. Without careful preparation, you would be in big trouble. Just want to make sure you're ready. Let me know when your preparations are complete. Alright, good. At last, uh, time has come. Are you ready? Yes. Remember the phase disorder version 2 is equipped with two new features. Yes, we know. Alright, so we, do we get right in now? Alright, we do. And now we're going to like uh, another dimension in time. Hey, wait. Wasn't this in Dalum? I remember this was in Dalum. Greetings, so you are finally here. Excellent, you are truly excellent. There is only a little time left. I'll give you the last power. I must go now. Pooh became conscious of PSI Start Storm Omega. Wow, let me see. How much PB did that take? Or can I not see here? I can't see here. We'll figure it out in battle. Alright, what do we have here? Kidnapped. I was doing kidnapper, bad guy, bad guy, gun, zoom, where? To the past. Ding ding. Alright, so that's a broken phase disorder and there was a horn of light. Okay. That's a good item. What do we have here? No problem. Okay. Then what do we do here? Nothing. Oh. Okay, we got another phase disorder right there. The phase disorder has been completed. We could finish it quickly because of Mr. Stein's incredible scientific skills. Gygus is attacking from our exact location, but he's attacking from many years in the past. You must warp to the past and fight. Okay. So can we go inside? We were too. Doing all right. We're here too. Okay, yeah, I know. Why can't I go inside though? Why is it like sometimes I can go inside? But I can't. Alright, wait, what? What did he just say? In order to defeat Gygus, who is attacking from the past, you must warp to the past. This can be done by way of Phase Sword of 3. However, the machine cannot warp living things, I mean life forms. Life is demolished in the process of warping. The only way to accomplish the time travel is to transfer your brain program into a robot. Send the robot to the past. The transfer means the that your spirit will go with the robot while your body is left behind. I cannot promise that your spirit will come back after the battle in the past. Yet you must understand. All right, whatever. Yes. Alright, let's just go. 
Ness, give me red cap. Okay. So I guess we're robots now. Wait, what the heck? Why are we sleeping? Oh, is it like putting our brains into the robots? Alright, so this is for every character. Now Jeff. Then Pooh. So like he's putting our spirit and brains into the robot. And he's using Ness's red cap to distinguish Ness from the others. So we're fighting people in robot form. Ness, Paula, Pooh, Jeff, my son, there is no turning back now. Ness has activated the phase sword of three by his own hand, therefore following your own destiny. Will you do so? Only a few people know of your amazing courage. The number of people you save through the bravery is immense. Feel very fortunate to the president of the being of this monumental undertaking. Okay, now we're going to the past to fight him, I guess. Because it said Gaius is attacking from the past. So we have to fight him from the past, and so that's what we're doing now. And here we are. So I guess I'll end the video here before we get attacked. Alright, what's on, what's up top here? Nothing. Alright, so yeah, this I guess this is the past. Cause like that's the same spot. Still have that thing sticking out of the ground, so we're in the past here. Anyway, um guess that's gonna be it for today. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned for more Earthbound right here on the town. Bye.